A second debate was very much embedded in the plans that the organizers rolled prior to January 15th when the inaugural debate was held at the Serena Hotel but all depended on how the first one would go. The chairman of the Elders Forum Uganda and head of organizing committee, Justice James Ogola, says the success registered has now made the second one to happen. Approval that the people have given it, we are now more than decided to hold a second debate. Second debate on another uh, sector of issues that the candidates need to address. Justice Ogola reiterated some of the few things that would be discussed upon in the second debate. And these are, in a word, is like international relations or foreign policy, but it takes into account regional integration, it takes into account uh, border trade, border uh, crime across the borders, of our region. It takes into account how Uganda features in the interplay of affairs between the Great Lakes region, the Horn of Africa, which is Somalia. On the same note, Ogola rubbished the president's view of relating this debate to those debates of high school. Of a, what do they call the thing? <laughs> A topic. A topic. There's a topic and one proposes, one opposes. That's wonderful for secondary school debates. <laughs> what we are having is not a secondary school debate. It's a national, serious conversation about issues that affect this country today and tomorrow and 10 years from today. Meanwhile, Ogola extended his sincere gratitude to all the presidential candidates who turned up for the debate amidst their busy schedules. I want to thank them so much for having sacrificed their other things that they were doing, campaigning and so on, to have come to this debate of last Friday. We want to encourage them to come to the next uh, debate and we want to talk together with them jointly so we can have a convenient date. For Ugandans, presidential candidates and candidates vying for other positions of leadership have been urged to be at the forefront of promoting peace and stability during electoral period.